Casey, the Director of Education here at ULA. Throughout your pregnancy, there are several medical tests that can give you information about the genetic health and viability of your growing baby. These tests are all optional, so we'd like to share some information about the first testing decision that you'll be making at your in-person visit that happens between 10 and 12 weeks. There are two different types of genetic screening tests that you'll be offered. Carrier testing that checks for inherited disorders you or your partner carry, and the NIPT, which is genetic screening for chromosomal abnormalities that may be present in the baby. If you opt in for either or both of these tests, our care team will draw blood for it and you'll receive results from the lab two to three weeks later. Carrier testing checks for inherited disorders that may be present in the egg and sperm and can be passed down to the growing baby. Common examples include sickle cell disease, cystic fibrosis, and Tay-Sachs, among others. In most cases, the egg and the sperm must carry the same disorder to have a child affected with the disease. This information may inform your pregnancy or birth management, as well as pediatric care for your child, or in some cases, a decision to terminate the pregnancy. Many of our patients choose to participate in what's called expanded carrier testing, a blood test that can be done at any time, though ideally before 16 weeks, and screens for over 200 diseases with 99% accuracy. These are lifelong results that never change, so you only need to have this type of testing done once in your life, regardless of future pregnancies. If you screen negative, there is an almost zero chance that you will pass on any genetic conditions to your baby, though nothing is 100% in nature, unfortunately. If you screen positive, we will make sure you understand how to interpret your results and offer to connect you with a genetics counselor. Sometimes we will suggest screening for your partner or sperm donor. There are some conditions that are related to how this specific sperm and egg came together for this pregnancy. They can be related to having an additional chromosome, such as trisomy 21, commonly known as Down syndrome, or a deletion or abnormality of an existing chromosome. When you are 10 to 12 weeks pregnant, we will offer you the option of non-invasive prenatal testing, known as the NIPT, or sometimes called cell-free fetal DNA testing. This blood test can give you a sense with a 99% accuracy of the likelihood of your fetus having chromosomal abnormalities. This is also the test that can inform you of the sex of your baby ahead of your mid-pregnancy anatomy scans. You can still opt into this test, even if you do not want to learn the sex of your baby. Just let us know your preference. There is an additional screen called a nuchal translucency, which is a special ultrasound scan we can refer you to, which will specifically check for signs of brain and spine defects when you are 12 to 14 weeks pregnant. If you screen negative for these, you can be confident that your fetus is highly unlikely to develop any major genetic complications. If you screen positive, we'll discuss further optional testing. You might have heard of an amnio or CVS. These are more invasive tests that do carry some risks to your pregnancy and will create a safe space for you to weigh the pros and cons. All of these tests are optional and a personal decision. If you are unsure if they're right for you, you might wanna ask yourself the following questions. For carrier testing, do you have a family history of genetic abnormalities, or do you want to know if you carry any genetic disorders? What would you do with the news of positive results? What would negative results mean for you? For the NIPT, what would you do if you found out your baby was likely to have a genetic abnormality? Would you choose further diagnostic testing, which might be more invasive to confirm the results? Would you choose to terminate the pregnancy if the results were confirmed? Will this test relieve anxiety for you or your partner? As always, we're here to answer your questions and you can reach out to us at any time. We look forward to seeing you at your upcoming visit.